So I got asked today, Lauren, how do you do it all? And my answer was, I don't. Hello, my name is Lauren and this channel is called Lauren Fosters where we talk about all things foster care and adoption related. I get asked often, how do you do it all? And that is genuinely my answer, I don't. That, that is my real answer. It's not, here, let me show you all my tips and tricks of how to get it all done. It's that I don't do it all. Because here's the deal, at the end of the day, I only have so much time and I have 10 children. And fun fact, I also homeschool currently eight of those children. Let's talk about the fact that I have seven boys. Seven boys. So they're a little bit on the messy side. But to be fair, my girls are just as messy and maybe worse because they're hoarders. To make my house look like, I don't know, your average house, I don't know, the houses I walk into that like sort of halfway look put together, I have to pretty much spend all day cleaning because chances are they're gonna trash it. Because most of them are awake and running around from sun up to sundown and running around in between, jumping all over all the things and touching all the things. So it has a constant tornado of mess to keep clean. And how do I school so many kids, so many different ages? I do have a few little systems and tips and tricks there. We have been fostering for 10 years, but I've also been homeschooling for about 10 years because for some reason about 10 years ago, I completely lost my mind and decided to do both at the same time. Where did all that energy go? Cause I, I don't have it. I need 10 years ago energy for the amount of children I have today. And that doesn't include therapy appointments for several of my children. That doesn't include everyday doctor and dental appointments or my couple of kids that do go to public school and, and kids that go to youth group and are part of sports and part of all these other activities. And that's just my kid related things. Let's talk about some me things. I like to work out. I like to get out every once in a blue moon and have coffee with a friend. And of course there's my husband who who is so awesome and helping me care for each one of these kids. But also I wanna focus on being a good wife from time to time so it could feel like a lot of things to juggle. And that doesn't even include a few organizations that I'm part of and volunteer helping out in. And I don't give you this list because I want you for one second to feel sorry for me because I signed up for all of this. However, if I were to laser focus on any single one of those things and really give it 100%, which I'm assuming other people do maybe, or maybe they don't, I don't know. Then any one of those things could take up an entire day and all my time and all my energy. So I have no shame in saying, I don't have it all together. I'm mostly making it up as I go. I don't know what I'm doing either half the time. And we kind of just embrace this hot mess roller coaster that we're on. But I'll tell you what, not an ounce of me would trade any of it for anything. I love my crazy hectic life. And I kind of joked that I was groomed for this my whole life. Like when you live in chaos, and you grow up in chaos and it kind of like leads to you being okay and almost at peace and chaos and that's what we do chaos i am however feeling more empowered to say no the older i get and not feel the need to sign up for all the things and do all the things and be all the things for all the people because there is a point when too much is too much and did i mention i have 10 kids at the end of the day i want my top priority to be my family and frankly i can't do that when my focus is on everything else going on outside of the home so i know i've been learning the last few years trying to balance um doing things that feel fulfilling to me and, and being part of my community, but also really focusing on my family and really being there for all the needs because when we signed up for foster care, it's not just my foster kids and my adopted kids that have a lot of heavy needs. My biological kids have a lot of heavy needs and all of them need their mom there for them. So maybe you needed to hear this today. Maybe you needed to hear that you don't need to have it all together. Look, I try to do my best on any given day and it is what it is. Some days I accomplish nothing. I feel like I've been like a train just chugging forward and some how I have gotten nothing done and then there are other days where it's more laid back and I get like a hundred things done and it is what it is and I've learned to just let it go if my kids feel like they are loved and they are cared for and that mom has been present and my husband feels like his wife is present then I feel like it's a win it has been a bit of an emotional struggle to get here because I've spent a lot of years being busy 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 and learning how to really calm down because all this energy you see I tell you I tire myself out quickly so so how do I get it all done? I don't. I don't get it all done. Anyway, don't you dare walk away from here feeling like you need to get it all done and be this picture perfect mom. I know in my case, when people see you with 10 kids, they assume, wow, you must really have it 
altogether. And that is not the truth. We said yes to a lot of cases in foster care and to being foster and adoptive parents, not because we somehow like had more capacity than other people or more patients or more availability, but just because we knew that it was the right thing for us. And it had nothing to do with being these like picture perfect people that had anything together because of anything, we're just kind of a dumpster fire at times. And we've just come to terms with that being okay. And learning to face that chaos head on, but also get some really good rest and calm when you can get some rest and calm. So don't you dare feel an ounce of shame if you don't feel like you have it together and you don't have all your ducks in a row. That is completely fine. You do you and you are doing amazing. So I hope this has been helpful or an encouragement to anybody out there that might be hearing this today and needed to hear something like this. Please like, please subscribe, please be part of our community. Feel free to comment below, um, share. Um, I love to hear your story. Tell me what's going on in your world. Are you fostering? Are you adopting? Are you um, a former foster youth yourself, military wife, homeschool mom, any of those things? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time. All right, bye.